Tim and I kind of figured that it would probably be an early night without a campfire. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> we stayed up quite quite late in terms of camping. We probably went to bed probably about 11 o'clock, I think, maybe just before. And now yeah, it was a it was a nice night. No light pollution at all. So the Milky Way Milky Way was showing off. Stars were showing off. Um, pretty awesome. Got up nice and early now, just before sunrise. Gonna make some coffee. We're not far from our next destination. Next destination is Clan William. Tim's gotta do some work up that side. I'd love to tell you where we are, but I don't know. This doesn't really have a name. Looked on the maps and stuff, and it's the Cedarburg. Back on the road again. So we're leaving this camp and heading for Clan William. So the plan today is to literally get to Clan William, staying in a chalet for two days. Should be should be fun. Something I'm not quite used to on that sort of camping trips is to go and uh, have a chalet in the middle. So something different, something new, something nice never been here before never been to clan william i think i've passed through clan william but i've never actually stayed there I'm not sure what there is to do or if there is anything to do definitely want to come back and camp here again but maybe somewhere further into the mountains i think it would have been a bit nicer if it was more of a wild camp i mean it was actually a, a parking lot that we were staying in so not really a camp no impact or very little impact everything we took in with us we've taken out with us it's about five k's to the road and then from there straight shoot north to Clan William.
without you, I'm not 100% sure. To be completely disconnected, there's no cell phone signal here, there's nothing. I think in a way it could be a completely different life. You know, you're not constantly driven and bound by your cell phone, by emails and all the rest of that stuff. It's, it's a different life altogether. We're almost in Clan William, about 6Ks away. I forgot that Clan William was over a, a lake. Oh, I just didn't know one or the other but that's pretty cool up at the top overlooking this big dam I don't know what dam that is I don't have to look Van William Dam I don't know but it's pretty very very pretty all right so I looked at the name of the dam really not amazing Clan William Dam there you go we're staying at a place called Hello, 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 hello. Uh, Tim's got some work to do for a client for a photography shoot. Donkey and Jabari gonna park off and just chill and you know maybe maybe do nothing, which is unusual. So gonna pop into the accommodation, have a look, and this is us for the next two days. But this adventure is not over. Four more nights of wild camping after this. Uh, Tanqua bound. So catch you then. Something I'm not at all used to. Let me show you. Yes, I'm staying in that. Yes, he is here. He's getting spoiled, eh? I'm getting spoiled. Look at this. today started back on the road no more photo shoots it's all about the overlanding experience and and the, the adventure so that's what's on the cards for today hey. <laughs> it's the sad reality of overlanding garages filled up on our way coming or oh, leaving Clan William, we're going back the way we came, passing the dam. From there, gonna drive, I don't know, about 5Ks apparently, and then there's a turn off that we can take that gives us a pass that we're gonna go up and over the, the, in, into the Tanqua sort of area, or I don't even know where we're going, to be honest. Well, this, this is all still Cedarburg, but we're gonna go down, find a pass that goes up to something called Cedarburg Oasis, that's the pass we're looking for. And from there, we'll go through Esselbank Vipital. So, never been on this road other than the other day, and where we're going today. So, 100% all new for me. 100% all new for Tim. Tim's never been in this area at all. I've obviously done the Tankwe and a very small portion of the Cedarburg. Where we're going, I don't know. I don't know the, the place we're staying, but that's all part of the adventure. The best part is just not knowing. Today's going to be a biggie. enjoying the drive yeah it's beautiful we, we did this drive when we went into clan William um, but it's nice to do it again and it also just highlights how much of a different person I am now that I'm not worried about work because on the way to clan William I barely noticed it and now it's spectacular out of the mouth of babes
Well, this drive is, it's amazing. It's probably some of the nicest scenery I've seen in ages. Well, I lie, everything in the Cape is amazing. So I think we're coming up on the Esselbank waterfall now. Uh, well, we still have about 10, 10 to 15 k's to go, but uh, I'm keen to see it. I, I hope it's in flow, I hope it's flowing. Once we've checked out the waterfall, then we're gonna go through Vipital and keep on going north until we get to the Durring River. That's the plan for today. I have no idea how far that is. I would guess maybe another two hours of driving, which eh, that's what we're here to do. Esselbank. It's not even a town. I don't even know why it would give it a name. I think it's like 10 houses here. But I suppose it counts as a town. At least I can tick it off the list and say I've seen Esselbank. Not that there's much to see. <laughs> All of this public access road, it's absolutely incredible. We've driven some amazing stuff already this trip. And then to come and drive this is just, wow. Through rocks and valleys and cliffs and oh, it's been it's been a really good trip so far. Don't blink, you'll miss Esselbank. I wonder what that means. Bank. Something bank, something like embankment. I don't know. Welcome to Esselbank, thank you. Hello Esselbank. Driving metropolis of Esselbank. Yeah man, love what they did with the place, eh? Tim's currently chewing on a burger, but yep. he doesn't want to do it on camera. Hi right, guys. I can bleep that out. <laughs> Apparently someone wants to eat in peace. I saw a sign that said waterfall, which was kind of where we wanted to go. So I'm going to quickly come and check out the Esselbank waterfall and see what it's like. I mean, hopefully it's amazing. Oh, where the hell do I go? Can't hear any water that way. I don't know if you have to walk to the waterfall. I mean, I don't know. further. Still need more car tracks. So we'll drive that. No, the car tracks in here. Okay, can't drive that anymore. Let's have a look. I didn't know any better, and I don't, but I think it flows down there and then kind of goes off the top there. There's probably a walkway down somewhere, but I mean, with all of it looking like this, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so, leaving Esselbank waterfalls. Like I was saying to you guys earlier, I'm not really sure what an Essel is. I just found out. It's a donkey. So, donkey bank. Donkey bunk. <clears throat> I don't know what a donkey is in Afrikaans though. Oh, that was stupid. It's an Essel. God, could it be more stupid? But we're now on our way. I looked in the GPS. We were worried about time. 
and then we're going to be driving all afternoon but it's only an hour away so 20 past two let's go with i think we'll arrive there i'm going to go with about four o'clock right so tim and i have decided we're going to have a drag race so on my mark we're gonna go for it and see who comes out tops and your mask can say go Take your donkey go! I can see Tim pushing Jabari now because I actually cheated. <laughs> hey, there he goes. There he goes. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> hey, breaking my window. <laughs> Most useless drag race ever. Thank you for the three other chips on my window. No, I'm joking, they're not there, but that was pretty useless even though I tried to cheat. <laughs> So what's more intimidating when you arrive at a place than this? Hello big boy. Oh you a big baby. Hello big baby. You're a massive dog. You're a massive dog. Oh, yo. And you're friendly. Look at that. Don't jump, you weigh more than me. You weigh more than me. You're massive. Look at you. Look at you, a massive dog. Massive specimen of an animal. Yes, hello. Watch out, he's vicious. He's gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, we've arrived at our next camp. Um, it's pretty awesome, it's pretty rustic. Kind of your typical Africa burn kind of vibe. During river camp, Jai Jen Jen. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Let me show you around. So a bunch of bikers here that have come through for the day, sit and chill at the pub. They're going to camp over and not riding the bikes back, thankfully. We parked here. We are not actually at our camp. We're going to go there later. We've actually decided to just sit and relax with the guys. We've got a friend coming through. Gareth's on his way. He's going to be coming through there. Um, but it's a pretty rad place. Awesome dogs. The owner is amazing. Kyle, thank you Kyle for having us by the way. It was about 50 degrees not so long ago. Thank you Snowmaster, ice cold beer. I think now it's time for a 
a little bit of a swim, check the poiki out, and just relax for the day. But this is us, guys. We're probably going to end up staying here tonight. Probably just pitch the tents exactly where they are. And go look at the rest of the camps in the morning. So the idea with this trip, like I said already, was the wild camp. I don't know if it gets more wild than camping in the road in the Karoo. And I think that's pretty much where we're going to camp. Where we've parked the cars, I mean, why not? I'm not being civilized, I'm not being civilized. I've been accused of being civilized. Skull! Hey! <laughs> How goes things? <laughs> What's happening? We made it. Good to me! Good morning, man. What's Good happening, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, my How man. How many Ks did you do today? Um, now I'm sitting at 740 Ks, bro. <laughs> yeah. I literally came past the turn off, went to Cape Town. Dropped off, what I need to drop off, meeting, picked him up, back up. Good morning. It's a very eventful evening. Cooked an amazing poiki and pretty much went to bed super early, then super late. So I went to bed at 11 first because it was full and tired and then I woke up and went to bed then at five so yeah it was a it was a good stay camera. How did you sleep? Feeling fresh as a daisy. Did you have enough sleep? Uh, I mean probably actually. I think you went to bed at, after three man. Did I? Yeah, yeah then I didn't have enough sleep. Well if you consider I came back at about half past two. Roland is bad for my health. <laughs> I have this effect on people. <laughs> so what do you do with the leftover poiki when you're not sure what to do with the leftover poiki? You do this. Push the fuel thing in. It sounds like I'm in a really early Cessna. Let me tell you, this is not going into gear that easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's different. It's weird. Oh, it's first is there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So check the gears. The first is not that automatic up down, it's 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 not that. It's that. <laughs> that way. Oh, 
this Check this first before we figure out how we're going to get this car out. <laughs> Can you see me in the mirror? There, I'm waving. Hi. Oh, wait. No. Strong string bean. <laughs> it's a bit small for you. A little bit until I'm in. Once I'm in, it's playing its best. stay. We've got about a 67 kilometer drive to our next camp. Apparently the roads are really rough. Once we get through this section we'll be on the R355 in the Tankwa and then heading down to our next night camp which is a secret location that I cannot share with you. Before I tell you about it let me actually rather just show you it. So watch this. Vastness 101, check at this. My first view of the tank were, eh? What do you think? Looks like amazing nothingness, eh? What? Yeah. It's quite amazing as you come over this hill and it just reveals itself, eh? Just hit the R355, pretty excited, which means we can put a little bit of pace in today. It's been a day. Coming down that mountain pass has been something else. Awesome to have driven it for the first time in my life. What a relief to be on the R355, this plain sailing that we can do now. And those of you that have been on the R355 in Tankwa know what I'm talking about. It's a special road to drive on every time. It's amazing. So nothing boring about this road. Uh, 
Okay, so Tim and I have reached where we've decided we're gonna camp for tonight. We picked a random pan somewhere. But to give you a better perspective, let me show you on this guy. Good morning, bit of a strange night's sleep. We had a storm come in from there that actually hit us. The wind, there was a little bit of rain, a little bit of drizzle, hot night in the tent because obviously I had to close all the canvas and stuff to to like kind of stop the water coming in. We, we decided yesterday that we're not gonna rush out of camp this morning. Probably got by the GPS 100 and just over 100 k's to go. Toast and Tabasco. Breakfast. Leftovers on toast. Breakfast of champions. I was going to cook us bacon and eggs, but since you're eating, I mean, that's off the cards now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat both. That was a pretty good breakfast, if I do say so myself. We're doing the next leg of the trip. About to get to the pot stall, about two k's out. To conclude the trip, it's been amazing. This on LCB, you guys rock. I know what's about to happen. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you in two minutes. Celebrating oh, yeah. today. Yeah. Cheers to that. Forty years. Congrats, guys. That's insane. We're inviting you to have a lamb chop with us, which is tradition. Amazing. What is the occasion? The occasion is forty years of dating. Forty years of dating. Forty years ago, I asked her to date, and she says yes. So to celebrate that, we're having a lamb chop. That's a little bit of tequila, which you apparently hate. And a lot of the sauce for you. So you put some rice salt on your palm. You lick the rice salt down the tequila and don't try to keep it in your mouth or make yourself suffer. Rice salt, tequila booster, eh? And cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers. cheers. Congratulations and on 40 good years. Luck. And good luck. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers. done. Okay, guys. Oh shit, which one bit? Well, it's supposed to be the salt one. That's the only way to drink lamb chops. That's the tequila. That's much better. The tequila is immediately out of your throat. Why is it like more? No! Happy 40 year and a freaking nursery. Congratulations. Like a like a like a. Call me salt. Call me salt. Yeah, I can't.